Hack Crew was started around six to seven years ago by a group of very active students here at Case Western. Every year we've just tried to really thrive on the hacker community and how engaged everyone is. Our project that we're working on is the electric maraca. Open source tool for anyone to look up a stock and find all of, uh, a bunch of key metrics about it. Smart toilet paper dispenser. Stock analysis project. App that lets you like exchange books for free. You can ask it and it'll get you song data about the songs that are currently playing from Genius. Little robot meant to be able to get really excited when he sees you. Create a sort of accounting tool using a blockchain interface. A website that focuses on displaying information about wealth inequality. Finally got to sleep around like 4 a.m. It was pretty intense brainstorming. Last night we were mostly working on trying to see how to code. We ended up with a completely different idea right as we were heading out. We didn't sleep at all. We're not giving up on this idea. Like no matter what happens, we're gonna follow this through to the end. It was completely different from other hackathons I've gone to. I really like the space that the students were able to use. The fact that they were able to build physical prototypes, I think that was really amazing. There's always someone there ready to help you with anything. It's such a great opportunity that I can't pass up trying to do something with hardware. The issue that we ran into was just that Twitter doesn't do their API access by the number of accesses and instead they do it by the amount of access you're given. So we, we kind of hit at that end with that. So far the time crunch has actually been sort of an excess of time. I have over 30 hours to put something together. It's hard to like think about how you're going to budget that time and, and divvy up the work. I think something that we're starting to do now is collaborate or put together the pieces that everyone's kind of hacking together so it all makes sense together. We're in a good position right now. We're just about to like start to make sure that like the actual mechanisms of the blockchain is working. Each of the judge like cares about different things. So like some of them were asking about the technology part, others were ask, was asking about the design. They were they were very interested in taking the project further and continually develop it after the hackathon. You think after 36 hours you're gonna come in here and it's gonna be a bunch of people sleepwalking through it, but it's, I think it's just because of the great stuff they put together, we ended up with uh, a lot of energy. I judged the first timers, beginners, which were 13 teams. One didn't make it to the end, but the 13 teams, they glowed. So this was really, really great. We had a great time, really cool ideas. It was just really impressive what people managed to do in 36 hours. I think software hacks are super impressive, but hardware ones have software in them too, and they're just so much more frustrating to build, and seeing people having completed them is just really impressive. So they were, they were projects way better than anything I've ever made. I think that I would never have been able to push myself to work for essentially 24 hours straight. The fact that I squeezed it in 24 hours was definitely due to the environment. Well, this is the biggest hackathon we've had in the history of the hackathon. We had more workshops than ever this year. We had more attendees than ever. Going forward, we're going to make sure we stay focused on learning and making sure that people are involved. Make sure to register for next year.